Hi everybody. I welcome you all to this new course on blockchain, the fastest evolving technology. This is in continuation with my previous course, which I have given out on Udemy. You should visit that course before coming to here. That course had all the basic stuff you need to know about blockchain. Now this has all the advanced topics and what's more, we have a whole practical session for this, a whole hands-on on the Ethereum smart contract creation by using Solidity. So in that course, we had done all the theoretical part, which is very essential for the blockchain and understanding of blockchain. Now in this one, we'll be doing mostly the practical part. We'll start with a bit of advanced topics like the UTXO model and some accounts, how they are handled and all, which are more important for the practical uses. And then we'll dive straight into the practical thing. So we'll be doing coding on Solidity language, which is uh, basically a contract based language used for mostly the Ethereum. And we'll be doing it on a platform, which is Remix. It is an online IDE and it is basically platform independent. So you don't have to worry about if your code works on any type of PC you are having or any system requirements. It's an online IDE. It will totally work online. You don't have to worry about anything. It will work on the EVM, which are the Ethereum virtual machines. And you will deploy your codes right over there. So this is totally compatible and no problem in taking this course. So the practical knowledge is also more needed in the blockchain. So that's why we are focusing this course only for the practical issues. Now, as I've told you in the previous course that you have to go through a whole path to become a blockchain developer, which cannot be accomplished only in one course. You have to take a series of course, which uh, like, which is known as a specialization. A specialization is basically number of courses. So now this whole blockchain development specialization, which I've made is divided into some courses. So now in the first course, I have covered all the theoretical parts. In the second course, we'll be talking about all the advanced parts and coding. In the next parts, we'll be mostly go into development of dApps which are the application creation, decentralized application creation and much more. So without wasting any more time, we'll straight dive into the course right now. Okay. Good luck.